Greetings everyone. As a part of update 30.9 and DE's attempt to improve the new player and early player experience, DE have made AMP recipe reductions. They've said the following. This change is twofold. Reduce crafting costs for AMP parts and reduce standing costs for purchasing parts. Our goal here is to make constructing an AMP more accessible to players by reducing resource demands. This is rooted firmly in the role upgrading your AMP plays in performing well in main quests like the Sacrifice, as well as engaging in the Focus Tree related content. So these are the changes. So for the Quill Prism, these are the ones in Cetus on Earth. Raplak. Standing cost reduced from 2,000 to 1,000. Erudite cost reduced from 60 to 40. Mercury liver cost reduced from 3 to 2. And Tear Azurite and Asher Diva cost reduced from 30 to 10. The Schwak Prism. Standing cost reduced from 5,000 to 1,500. Erudite 80 to 40. Norg Brain 3 to 2. Asher Diva 30 to 15 and Marquis Veridos 20 to 10. For the Granmu Prism, standing costs reduced from 7,500 to 2,000, Kuthol Tendrils 3 to 2, Breath of the Eidolon 5 to 3, Marquis Veridos 20 to 10, and Star Crimson 10 to 6. And lastly, for the Ran Prism, standing cost 10,000 to 2,500, Iridite 60 to 50, Saram Beetle Shell 3 to 2, Tear Azerite 30 to 20, and the Eshar Diva 30 to 15. As for the Quill Scaffolds, Hencha, standing cost reduced from 2,000 to 1,000, Grotrol 60 to 40, Mercury Liver 3 to 2, Cetus Wisp 10 to 3, and Pyrotic Alloy 85 to 60. For the Shraxan Scaffold, standing cost 5,000 to 1,500, Grotrol 80 to 60, Nord Brain 3 to 2, Cetus Wisp 15 to 4, and Copyright Alloy 85 to 60. For the Klepric Scaffold, standing 7,500 to 2,000, Mercury Liver 3 to 2, Cetus Wisp 20 to 5, Breath of the Eidolon 5 to 3, and First Steel Alloy 50 to 40. Lastly, for the Fard Scaffold, Standing cost 10,000 to 2,500, Grocterol 60 to 40, Saram Beetle Shell 3 to 2, First Steel Alloy 85 to 60, and the Heart Nymph 2 to 1. For the Quill Braces, the Clapcraft standing cost has 2,000 to 1,000, Morphix 10 to 6, Fish Oil 35 to 20, Mercury Liver 3 to 2, and Cetus Wisp 10 to 3. For the Jutney, the standing cost has been reduced from 5,000 to 1,500, Neuroids 10 to 6, Fish Oil 35 to 20, Nord Brain 3 to 2, Cetus Wisp 15 to 4. For Lorin, the standing has been reduced from 7,500 to 2,000, Fish Oil 35 to 20, Cathol Tendrils 3 to 2, Cetus Wisp 20 to 5, and the Breath of the Eidolon 5 to 3. Lastly, the Ens Partha standing cost has reduced from 10,000 to 2,500, Morphix 10 to 6, Fish Oil 35 to 20, Saram Beetle Shell 3 to 2, and the Radiant Centrium cost has reduced from 2 to 1. Moving to the Solaris Prisms, we have the Cantic, the Vega Torrid cost has reduced from 5 to 3, Long Winder Lathe Coagulant cost 10 to 6, and the Gyromag Systems and Radiant Zodian cost reduced from 5 to 3. The Lega Prism Vega Toroid cost has reduced from 5 to 3, the Sharamot Sagan Module cost 10 to 6, Gyromag Systems and the Radiant Zodian cost 5 to 3. Lastly, the Clamora Prism, the Vega Toroid 5 to 3, Tromzion Entroplasma 10 to 6, and the Gyromag Systems and the Radiant Zodian 5 to 3. For the Solaris Scaffolds, Exard Scaffold, Coldatoroid 5 to 3, Long Window Lathe Coagulant 10 to 6, Atmos Systems 3 to 2, and the Hespasm Alloy 50 to 30. For the Disic Scaffold, the Coldatoroid 5 to 3, Sharamote Sagan Module 10 to 6, Atmos Systems 3 to 2, and the Hazam Alloy Cost 50 to 30. And lastly, for the Propus Scaffold, the Coldatoroid Cost reduced from 5 to 3, the Tromazon Entroplasm 10 to 6, Atmos Systems 3 to 2, and the Hespasm Alloy 50 to 30. And lastly, for the Solaris Amps, we have Braces. For the Suo Brace, the Solar Toroid Cost, 5 to 3, Long Winder Sagan Module, 10 to 6, and Marquee Fist, 5 to 3. For the Plaga Brace, the Solar Toroid Cost, 5 to 3, Sharamote Sagan Module, 10 to 6, and the Marquee Fist, 5 to 3. Lastly, the Certus Brace, 
Solar Toroid cost 5 to 3, Tromazon and Troplasm cost 10 to 6, and the Marquee Fist 5 to 3. Now with that said, Digital Extremes have stated that any crafting component not noted is keeping its current cost. And in relation to that reduction, they've reduced the cost for refined ore and gem blueprints in the Plains of Eidolon. That being that Pyrotic Alloy and Tear Azerite have gone from 1,000 standing to 500. Escher Diva and Copyright Alloy have gone from 5,000 standing to 2,500. Marquis Veridos and First Steel Alloy went from 10,000 to 5,000. Star Crimson and Eroxium Alloy went from 15,000 standing to 7,000. And now Radiant Centrium and Heart Nith went from 20,000 to 10,000 standing when you purchase the blueprints from the Ostrons in Cetus on Earth. So those were the changes in regards to the amps and resources that were made in update 30.9 in November of 2021. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.